Welcome back. Uh, yeah, last time we had some interesting Third Fall Rift games. Um, let's see if this time I could perhaps find more tactics than I found last time. Um, if I, by playing accurately, hopefully we could get more interesting games than... I mean, last time our games are pretty exciting, but they're just not very memorable. Yeah. Yeah, I did put this free internet shogi server message into our chat room, although my bot... Hang on. Good luck. My bot command, or my bot's response to the FISS command um, is not shown in the chat room. Um, wait, how does this go again? This is not a good time to be forgetting moves. This is playable. Um, then, like, then there's this fork, so, like, this sort of thing is playable, I think. And I don't remember what to do next. I could feign as if I'm playing Static Rook. Definitely not playing third foul rook at this point, it seems. Um, okay, maybe we're playing fourth foul rook, maybe. Um, Yeah. So the command I have that's somewhat memorable is FISS for Free Internet Shogi Server. Um, it's based on the uh, Capablanca server code. I'm trying not to like allow a bishop drop and get totally pwned here. So... Um... Yeah, we're going to actually cut the silver off so it can't move anywhere. Um, our opponent is not content with this board being split. But I don't think it's their call. Um... Moving this gold diagonally is always a bit questionable. Doing it twice in one game seems twice as questionable. Um, but what else can be done? How do I stabilize this mess? Okay. It oh, really looks fine. Hmm. I don't know. This is, like, really aggressive. I guess the best I can do is run the king away and pray that stuff is fine. Um... Usually, I would be building half Mino here, but we're in slightly of a hurry. So, we're going to build this other castle instead. Nana I, actually, maybe I build this castle one file over. And really improvise. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Central Kimura Mino. You saw it here first, folks. There we go. We built it on the wrong file. Sue me. <laughs> um, it'll be fine. So now let's go chase this knight, because it's an easy target. 
And Marite races up the board to become an even easier target. Alright. I mean, yeah, we could take this pawn. But chasing the knight seems like an easier target than chasing that, so... Um... Well, no, if I take here, I think this position does calm down. Incredibly, but I think it does. If I don't take there, I think this position actually gets more chaotic. If I push to chase their knight, they do pawn takes pawn, I take the knight, they promote the pawn. Um, my gold cannot defend everything at once, so I have to take here. Um, but that said, I think this chaos does calm down very quickly. Um, I know I'm not thinking very quickly here, but it's fine. Um, go for me. Yeah, let's get this exchange done. And then place that on 5-5. Five, five. And now we're threatening this. Um, I was about to threaten the silver, and then it goes and chases my bishop. And then I would question what I'm doing. That would be smart. So yeah, I made something of a mistake. But it's fine. Because I still get a knight out of this. Um, the question is, where do I put my bishop? And I think, unfortunately, the answer is not targeting this, but I want to target the king. So to do that, um, gotta keep it on this diagonal. take this. So yeah, they've definitely made some inroads, but it's fine. Um, oh, I could just take this pawn. Yeah, so we're going to hit this target, which is a nice, soft spot in their position. Um, and try to exchange some more pieces, I guess. I'm a bit fuzzy on where I'm going with this. Um, did I say a bit fuzzy? I should say extremely fuzzy. Um, should have done this earlier. Definitely should have done that earlier. Anyway, here we are. Everything is hanging. Uh, it would be so nice if I had two dragons, but that's not happening. What might be happening is me taking this gold and then taking multiple times on this, what do you call this, 4-8 here.
I'd expected a bishop to drop here, not a silver. So, um, I forgot this was possible. I might still somehow be better because this bishop takes gold, counters a lot of things that. Well, actually, if they move the rook down, bishop takes gold wins the rook. If they move the rook up, I don't know how to counter the rook moving vertically here. Um, but yeah, this is what stumped me for a second. Is is this exchange okay? Where like lots of pieces are hanging. Uh. I think it's fine, because um, I think I'd profit, because uh, their castle is so vulnerable. Um, I'd rather both castles have lots of holes at this point. Okay. Oh, well, that's... Unless they have mate, that's not bright. Oh, they're hitting my bishop. That's what's up here. All right. Um, two can play that game. Wait, no, this is defended. Um, let's sacrifice the bishop because it's just forever going to be hanging. And. Since that's been sacrificed, Nihun. now let's offer a rook exchange. Um, let's see what they think about this now. They have a gold into bishop to attack with, but it's not mate. So. Or if it is mate, I have two minutes left. I didn't read it. But yeah, I'm trying to exchange some pieces, try to stabilize my position a little bit. Put the entire game's result into question as I try to stabilize this, but oh well. What can you do? Oh, they have two bishops in hand. There's a little two here. Hmm. That's not great. So, yes, now they have a gold general. Um actually, yeah, my my position sucks. Not sure what I was thinking. I was thinking, hey, there's no immediate checkmate here. But now there is. <laughs> so, hmm. Probably need to be a little more cautious. Um. <laughs> This ain't gonna hold, but let's pretend it will. So yeah, they threaten mate in one. We prevent the most obvious mate in one, but like my position's really, really bad. Um Hmm, but what can we do? Yeah, I was afraid of that. Um, so all I can do is block this check. Oh, interesting. They deliver checkmate anyway. Uh, at least I assume this mates. Yeah, thanks for the game. Nicely done. A checkmate's a checkmate. So, let's play another game.
So that's what happens if you build your castle out in the middle of the ocean. Um, the castle stands, but your king might not. Good luck. All right, we're going to, I guess, play Opposing Rook, because... Well, why would I want to do that? That sounds perfectly painful. Um, well, let's try it. You have to collect all the avatars. If something's telling me to try Opposing Rook, we're going to try it. But perhaps it's a strategy mismatch here. Uh, okay, we've protected our corner. They've gotten away from this bishop takes bishop shot that shows up sometimes. I'm making my corner more exciting for everybody, but um, yep, so this is like the Millennium Castle. Again, they could bring out the knight to complete it. We've seen in previous videos that if I play this... Um, oh. Huh. Don't know why that showed up. But they can protect the head of this castle. Um, and then their rook can come over to take my silver. Well, it's not so simple this time, is it? Um... So, yeah. Either way, I think we've got something interesting going here. I don't so much want this pawn. Oh, well. If you're telling me. If you're telling this, me this position is going to be what I think it is, then, yeah, let's do this. If my silver can enter without consequence, then we'll do that, but um, otherwise we're holding the silver back just a little bit. Um, so we have a pawn in hand. I guess we chase this knight. I guess we continue chasing the knight. Alright, so our bishop's under attack. Um, what to do? Yeah, let's do this. Why not? Let's find out why not. Sesame Street Castle. <laughs> Is Sesame Street Castle a thing? Alright. Let's promote this rook. It's not like we're making any threats or anything. Um... Possibly we've done a reasonable attack. Moving the silver out first is normally a bit unreasonable. But since this is not check, uh, because I was lucky to have not moved this pawn, <laughs> otherwise, yeah, we'd be down a rook right about now. But since that's not check, we seem to be doing okay. Um, so... Let's see. This point is a little bit vulnerable. Um, hmm. Oh, a knight would be a nice piece to have about now, wouldn't it? I have some ideas Not about how to, how to obtain a knight. Let's do this. Although this kind of asks the question of, like, 
is their knight going to be part of this attack? If the knight gets in the way of the bishop, then maybe there's something I can do about the bishop. I don't know. It is floating, so potentially this bishop could become a target. But if the bishop takes, then after my king moves, we can exchange knights, and I could place it around here or such. And then knight takes pawn, and then knight takes... Oh. Okay. My opponent thought I knew what I was doing. And apparently I did well enough, so thank you for this game. I had some idea what was going on. Um, I could see... I could do this some, same thing, too. Sometimes I wanted to do that, where, like, I had an idea and it just not does not work. Good luck. Alright, we've got this anticipated bishop exchange offering. Um, oh wait, this is vulnerable. Uh, yeah. Oops. Um, let's try to correct our shape. Yeah, so this is not a typical move ordering. Um, this might... Oh, okay, we got a new avatar. We'll take it. <laughs> I'm gonna collect... Gotta collect them all, you know. Wait, what? What is that avatar? We're getting all the new avatars today. Huh. The Sesame Street Triumph. Yeah, we're getting all the animals today, apparently. Which is delightful, but also, like, what have I done? How have I earned this? I don't know. All right, so um, because we've exchanged bishops, let's play this way instead of our normal Mino. Um, hmm. My rook is not on the best file. Um... I guess we'll try to open this file for the rook and keep the rook here. The alternative would have been to pick a different file for the rook, but this file seems okay, it's just I haven't done much with it yet. Oh, okay, technically we are in that territory. Technically. That's the best kind of opening play. That's where, like, hey, actually you're playing this? Don't know whether you knew it or not, but that's where we're at. Um, but yeah, on a technicality. All right. This looks fun. Let's do it. Yeah, like, this looks like a decent file for the rook. I'm nervous about pushing this pawn too far because of bishop drop possibilities, but I do need to push it. I just don't want everything to explode all at once when I push this like their king is decently far away from them, this file so I've got a little bit of time before I push it again but probably want to push this again soon um, that opens a line directly to the king this game could get interesting Um, actually, yeah, this gives me a lot of fun chances here. 
Should we see how they handle this? Should we see how they handle this? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, they... The madness stops here. <laughs> yeah, the next logical step, of course, is the bishop fork. So, let's just... Um, yeah, we're not going there. Uh, they saw it at the last moment. Uh, yeah, but no, it's not all... Strictly speaking, it's more than cheese here. Um, now, what is cheese is this? This is cheese. Um, but, yeah. Like, I was going to sack the knight and build, like, promote my pawn and do a whole bunch of fun stuff. But... Instead, we just, like, win outright without having to do any of that, so that's a tough break for them. Um, hmm. So we transposed a few times uh, somehow into this thing. And now we have two bishops in hand. Um, so what do we do with two bishops? I think we place them. I think that's the next logical thing to do. Uh, I mean, it'd be nice if the board were slightly more open to facilitate an attack, but, um, where do we place them? I don't actually know. Um, hmm. This is ugly, in case it's unclear. This is me trapping my bishop in the hopes of, like, something positive happening. Um, that's maybe a good response. I'm not sure. Um... I've not made this any easier for myself here. Eventually this bishop promotes. Um, yeah, I don't like to do this because all my pieces are on the wrong squares. This is so ugly. Oh, they don't even take this. Dude, like... The, what am I doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Go but whatever we're doing, it's in some kind of harmony. Where we're both playing the wrong notes. And it's somehow kind of sort of working out. All right, yeah, no, I deserve that. Um, it's fine. I definitely deserved that.
so I'm guessing they'll offer another bishop exchange here, and I don't know what I'll do against that. Oh, this knight is def oh my god. I did this? I was so fixated on this possibility that I forgot they get to make threats too. So yeah, this knight takes silver is actually more powerful than it looks. But hey, a knight. A knight would not be the worst piece to have here. Um, so let's exchange rooks. That finally activates my rook. And then remove this knight before something terrible happens. So they have a silver bishop and rook. Um, do I seriously not have a good way to defend against that? Wow. Okay. That's great. Um, I mean, they say the best defense is a good offense, but this would be taking that statement to a new level. Maybe not. All right, we're going to just attack and pretend that, you know, we don't need to defend. And that might actually be accurate here, just given how strong the attack is. But, um... But I'm playing with fire just a little bit. Yeah, you might try it instead of bishop 4-9. Yeah, I thought about bishop 3-9, bishop 4-9. I went back and forth for a while. I think you're right, though. I think bishop 3-9 would have been stronger. Because I played bishop 4-9. Uh, and we get the game that we see before us right now. The reason I played this now is because um, I don't see like how this attack runs out. Um... Wait, why am I placing this knight? Um, I'm placing this knight because the silver is going to come back to rejoin the castle. So otherwise, uh, this castle might have some integrity to it. Um, but here... Yeah, the castle's integrity it depends upon them now dropping bishops to try to hold this together. Like, a knight that blocks is just going to be a free knight. So, yeah, this castle collapses. Um, curious. They're going to try to use a bishop to hold this together? Uh, okay. We can see how this experiment goes. Um, this gives us a bishop in hand. So yeah, I guess they do build a castle. That's actually impressive. So congrats, you have a castle. Um, I have stuff too. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is reasonable. I should stop taunting and start playing. Um. I thought this would be just fine for me. Because I, like... The, this is not the strongest castle ever, but it is a castle. It might not be the strongest, but it's, it has some integrity. Yeah. Um. Well, 
let's break its integrity if we can. Hopefully we can. Maybe sacrificing the silver might have been smarter, but I'm afraid of giving them too many pieces. Maybe putting the lance here. I mean, there are other places I considered putting it. Um, but no, I think this is the base, and so I want to break this as quickly as possible. I just don't want to give up the silver, because then they'd reinforce this castle. Um... Okay, we will exchange bishops. Uh, let's take this. And bring this over here. That's a pity for them. They had an interesting defense. Like, they were actually starting to rebuild their castle. I'm impressed, but... Um, I think my attack prevails in, st in spite of being what my attack was. Uh, considered it maybe I should have sacked here earlier. But I didn't see a, a breakthrough at the very end, so... In any event, I'm considering Silver Drop. Oh. Um, am I still considering it? I think so. Maybe. Um, here, let's protect both of these spaces. So now we're considering drops behind the castle and in front of it because they can no longer pawn drop here. Um. All right, there's a check. I remember how these pieces work. This is actually huge progress for me in terms of like seeing I can promote a piece after dropping it. Thanks for the game. Yeah, so you could call that cheese. Uh, you'd probably be somewhat right to call it that, because... Uh... Anyway, thanks for a game I did say to them. It was an exciting game. Um, yeah, that the, the king rook fork would have been something, and the opponent saw that coming. Um, but I was also intending to sacrifice my knight on 3-7, and try to promote some pawns and keep harassing the rook. So it wasn't entirely cheese. I did have another strategy in the event that they didn't fall. They didn't give me the silver right away. But anyway. Yeah. Um, game 2 here had some questionable moments. I'll have to review that soon. Uh, but these 10 minute games really fly by. They really do. So. Um, just a lot of it really exposed my opening weaknesses, especially, I keep mentioning in my video descriptions that um, the end of the All-American Summer Shogi Tournament is coming soon, so I'm needing to expose all my opening flaws, and now we have more things to look at, so yeah, that'll be, uh, we'll look at that momentarily. Uh, for those watching this video, thanks for watching.